everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we are talking all about spring. Spring sewing, my spring capsule wardrobe, <laughs> all the color clearly that I'm going to be bringing into it. So um, if you're a newsletter subscriber when you're watching this you should have gotten the PDF for if you wanted to kind of plan out your own spring or fall. I have both in there. Um, capsule wardrobes. Um, yeah I've got the whole PDF and everything that came out in that newsletter that's free for you, as well as a, um, it's mine as well, so you can just kind of take a look and pattern it after it, not pattern it, whatever. <laughs> All right, before we get into this, let's talk about my color palette that I'm going to be using. I am going very bright with my color palette. So um, I'm using, I typically go with six colors for my, um, for my colors. So I have a very cohesive closet now because I sew off of um, and make garments based off my color card. And I've even got, look what Jenny created for us. It's a gigantic color card. <laughs> so I have a copper spring. These are the 35 colors that are recommended for my um, color family. You don't have to, you know, if you don't have your colors professionally done, that's fine. I just, I do recommend sewing off of a color palette of some sort. It just really helps keep things nice and cohesive. If you are interested in having your colors done virtually by Color Guru, I do have a code. It's Tomcat Color. Get you 10% off any of their packages. And I've just been very pleased. Um, you don't get, your color card's not this big. Jenny had this the digital one blown up um, and printed off for us so I could easily have a visual aid here. Um, but you do get handy ones that fit in your purse. <laughs> anyway. I'm a copper spring, and so now that I sew, sew and wear by um, colors pretty much in my color family, everything is very cohesive. So this is just kind of a snapshot of, um, I don't know how many pieces, 40-ish pieces um, of my wardrobe that I'm going to keep kind of front and center in my closet to make it really easy for me to build outfits off of during the spring months. But I have other stuff in my closet too um, that can easily go in and out. This is just kind of the abbreviated version. And again, it just helps me um, not get overwhelmed with options when I'm getting dressed in the morning. So for my color capsule, um, again, I'm going bright. I am picked uh, two neutrals. Well, Two de definite neutrals, one that's kind of. Um, so for my dark neutral, I'm actually going with um, army green, like an olive green color. And then my ivory, which is my well, my lightest neutral. I always like to have a dark and a light. This could be argued that it's more of a medium, um, but I'm just, that's what I'm feeling right now. So that's what we're going with. <laughs> and then I'm kind of using this um, spring gold color. Um, this yellow color is kind of a third neutral, kind of. Um, because it does have a lot of like brown in it, but it's still bright and it's one of my favorite colors to wear, honestly. And then for my um, contrast colors, I have gone with kind of um, this Robin's Egg color here, this kind of, well, kind of in between, kind of the turquoise Robin's Egg um, family, that kind of blue that's in there. Um, this kind of high Viscous coral reef in that family there with a little bit of peach fuzz, which is the color of the year this year. And then um, lastly, my poppy red, my real warm red. Sometimes I, I swap orange um, in and out for that, which is flame, which is kind of right above it. Um, I kind of use those interchangeably. But that is kind of what I am going for in this, cup, this capsule. So a lot of bright colors. I see a lot of color blocking in my future. I'm in the midst of a style journey a little bit. I talked about this in my winter capsule. Um, but my three kind of style guideposts, and the style guideposts, obviously, whatever your three words are, it's just what they mean to you. Um, but they help me, and, and it will help you. You know, you pick your three words, shop and pick patterns that kind of fit those and what those words mean, you know, like classic might mean something different to me or chic might mean something different to me than it does to you. But just so you know what those are and that you're keeping, um, yeah, more cohesiveness in your closet. So I have changed mine a little bit and um, mine are at the moment, <laughs> um, I'm still going to keep classic because I still feel like I do have a classic aesthetic, but mine are going to be current, classic and colorful. Um, are kind of my um, three words that I'm working off of right now. Those could change, but for right now, that's kind of what I'm working off of, and that is what we're seeing here. All right, so let me go through the things that I have put in here, and then we're going to talk about, I have plans to make one, two, three, four, five, six things. So um, we'll go through that. And there's a couple of things in here you haven't seen yet 
that were on my um, plans for my winter capsule um, that are going to be carried over into spring because our springs are very similar to our winters, to be honest, here in Indiana. All right, so let's start with tops. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tops, which is pretty typical for my capsule wardrobes. So to start off, I mean, I always, I, I got to keep a nice neutral. Um, Jenny was noticing that I don't have a ton of neutrals here in this color, in this uh, capsule, but that's okay. We're going to play around with color blocking this spring. But I am keeping my ivory um, Concord in my closet. This could get swapped out for my short sleeve one at some point. Um, the beginning, my spring at the beginning, like spring in March is a lot different than spring in May here. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But got my Concord. Also popping in here, my cashmere at Carlisle. This is um, one of the club patterns, um, like one of the first ones, like the second month maybe of their club patterns. I just love this neckline and um, a beautiful, beautiful t-shirt. And it's in a cotton modal. It's just really comfortable to wear. As far as graphic tees, my Walt Disney t-shirt that I got in Disney um, that I, uh, oh gosh, this was like a, a men's 2XL. Um, that I cut and altered to where it's a little bit of a boxy crop. I don't do a lot of um, graphic tees, but I do enjoy this one and um, it's fun for layering. I just don't like a lot of words across my large bust. <laughs> Next, you guys haven't seen this yet. This is my one of my new hives. This is the hive that I made in that beautiful, um, what's the name of that color? Kind of a spring gold um, French terry that my friend Cecile got for me. And I still have quite a bit of that fabric left. I put it back in the stash so I can do something else with it. I just love this color. <coughs> but this will definitely be worn both to the gym, but also like recreational, like just with jeans and that sort of thing. Um, as something a little different than a sweatshirt, but this is going to be a great layering piece. I've also put my wool knit toaster sweater. So you guys haven't seen this one yet either. Um, this is a wool knit fabric that one of my viewers kindly sent me um, a few uh, cuts of this wool knit in a few different colors um, that were in my browns and in my color family. So I think this is going to be a real fun one to wear um, just as a, like a neutral a sweater. I mean, I mean, it's a wool knit, so it's going to be very similar to any of my other wool sweaters that I typically wear. Um, and this is an old pattern, but a goodie. So uh, I think this is only the second time I've made this and I don't even have the first one I made anymore. I used to drapey of a uh, sweater knit, but I think that this is really going to hold up well. And yeah, excited to get this in rotation. Next is my The Avid Seamstress, the blouse. You guys have seen this one. It is in a Dashwood Rayon Chalet. Um, I actually made this for the Minerva blog a couple of years ago now. I just love this shirt. It makes me happy. The colors are all of my color palette. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's one of those fabrics that just kind of tick all the boxes. And um, yeah, it's just a really fun one to wear. Also, bringing in my nicely patterned um, Vernon, cashmere at Vernon, uh, in this Lady McElroy uh, cotton lawn. I love this thing. It layers so well underneath uh, sweaters, number one, because it's got all the colors in it. So it can literally be layered under like anything. Um, but it's also lightweight because of that cotton lawn. I, I get compliments or comments on this shirt every single time I wear it. It's a digital print. Again, it's all of my colors as well in it. I love this. The Orange Silk Simplicity 1538. Um, Jenny even commented, she's like, oh my gosh, that is a workhorse. <laughs> it is, and it's such a bright color. Um, but this is my bright orange, and I, again, love layering this um, or wearing it as is. It's, it's a, this is a fantastic um, blouse. Then I'm throwing in my Itch to Stitch Foz. I made this a while ago and kind of forgot about it. It was just stuff, stuffed in a drawer. Um, but I mean, it is a cardigan and can be worn as a cardigan, but I am looking forward to wearing it, um, buttoned up, um, and just as like a t-shirt kind of, um, anyway, it's the same. I don't think it's the same. No, it's not the same fabric. What? No, I think this is a cotton Jersey and this is a uh, cotton modal, but very similar in color to my Carlisle. <laughs> 
And then I've got a new to me cashmere sweater. I got this at J. Crew on their clearance rack, but in this very bright, beautiful orange. Um, it, yeah, I mean, like deep discount. I, yeah, it, it, this was a this was a good purchase. And I also, just as a side note, I don't hang my sweaters. I people are going to be like, oh my gosh, why are you hanging your sweaters? I don't. They are in a they live in a cedar closet, um, folded in a cedar chest. But for the sake of this video. So I have this out and hung up at the moment. But yes, very excited about this coming into my wardrobe for spring. And then finally, my Itch to Stitch Nasara. I tell you, I have worn this thing all winter long because um, I wear it underneath sweaters or sweatshirts. And um, it's just a bright pop of color right there around my face. And it brightens my mood while still being a nice layering piece because it's got the short sleeves. It doesn't get too um, bulky underneath sweaters or sweatshirts. I love this thing. So very excited to wear this as is or also layered under things in the spring. So those are all of the tops that I'm bringing in for spring. I've got two, three, four, five, six bottoms. Um, let's talk about the plans I have for tops. I do want to make one brightly colored Breton style t-shirt. Um, I'm eyeing some at Closet Core Fabrics right now that's like a bright um, cobalt blue almost and um, white stripe. I don't know. It's kind of pricey. So I don't know if I'm going to um, pull the trigger on that. I want to wait and go to the Sew Expo um, that we leave a little later this week um, to see if I find anything out there. But I'm looking for like a bright yellow and white stripe or cream, um, an aqua, like a turquoise and um, white, um, even a bright green or even orange and, and cream or white, uh, but bright colored stripe so that I can make myself a brighter colored Breton style t-shirt. So on the lookout for that fabric still. I also plan to make the new green style reef sweatshirt. Um, Leah Wink um, did design the pattern for green style creations and it, um, green style patterns, I think they're just green style patterns now. Anyway, it is a dupe for the Lululemon scuba hoodie and um, like with the hood, zip up the front or just the collar. Uh, very popular. My sister loves those things. So I bought that pattern right away. And then I also bought from Green Style their French Terry because I'd heard good things about it and I wanted to try it out. So I bought enough of their French Terry with matching ribbing to go with that reef. So I'm really looking forward to making that. I think it's a little bit more of an involved make than typical sweatshirts are. Um, but I'm very excited to get some time to make myself that both for the gym and also wearing just around the house. So that is gonna be another thing that I make. And then I want to make another, well, I haven't made the top yet, but the Itch to Stitch Majorelle, I made the dress and I really wanna make a top version. And I'm gonna use this beautiful silk georgette that I got from um, Mood when we were in New York. Uh, it's pretty transparent, so I'll have to wear something underneath it, but that pattern is such a nice loose uh, button-up pattern. Um, I think it's going to be fine, but the colors are just so good, and there's little foxes that are on it every now and again, which I think is really cute. So there we have it. I'm going to be um, making the Itch to Stitch Majorelle blouse out of this silk. Do some real beautiful French seams. That's going to be a lovely one to make up. Okay, so those are all of my tops. So I will be adding, I guess, three more tops in there. So 14 tops total. Um, okay, bottoms. I am gonna be bringing in my Legato Largo combo jeans that you guys have seen. Still waiting to see if I wanna do any distressing on these. Um, I'm gonna wear these when we go to Sew Expo, kind of break them in a little bit and then wash them and then assess if I want to, um, I don't know, I may just even wash them in some, or let them soak in some Coke and maybe a little bit of uh, bleach, just a little bit of bleach, just to lighten them up a little. Um, and maybe just hit with sandpaper just lightly. I don't want them super distressed. I just want them, you know, look a little bit more worn in. So I don't know, I'm still going back and forth on that. But these are coming into my wardrobe. My Ecru Everlane jeans will be coming into my wardrobe. This is my white jean, basically. My Madewell wide leg jeans, um, love these. Um, I wear them all of the time and yeah, those will be coming in. 
And then I've got two skirts. I really want to try more skirts this sum the spring and then into the summer. Um, I want to bring, I want to, I want to play around a little bit with my style. So I have been wearing my Coco Bias skirt, which I made for um, Christmas Eve and it dressed up really beautifully. But now I want to start um, wearing it a little bit more casually. I had it on with sneakers and my um, Walt Disney shirt and a cardigan the other day. And I really liked how that looked. So um, yeah, I'm playing around with uh, styling my bias cut skirt, but this is the um, Coco Bias skirt from uh, Stay Stitch Patterns. And then I'm bringing in my cream denim uh, Ish to Stitch Taroko. Um, this is just a really cute little denim skirt, can be worn in place of jeans. Probably won't wear this one until the end of spring, most likely. This will probably go into my summer um, capsule as well, because um, it's a little bit more like shorts. Um, I'll have to wait till I can go bare legged before this comes out, but definitely putting this into the spring. And then finally, for some lounge pants, my Carla swim style Carla lounge pants um, in the orange are also going to be going into my capsule. Um, I wear these all the time anyway, but this is my answer to athleisure. I don't wear a ton of athleisure, but sometimes it's nice to have some at home um, for a little bit of comfort and still want to be put together. So those will be going in there. Now, I do want to make two pairs of pants. I would like to make a pair of um, olive green Largos, and I think cashmere or um, uh, Love Notions Largos. I think I'm going to buy some olive cotton twill from StyleMaker um, with my birthday coupon. I'm getting to the end of the month, so I got to spend it here pretty quickly. Um, I was just waiting a little bit to make sure. I, I want to make sure that I have access to everything, you know, if the new releases and stuff. And I'm uh, you're going to the last minute, but I think I am going to buy some of that olive twill. Again, I'm going to do a birthday slash so expo fabric haul um, in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I would like to, an olive pair of Largos. Um, I would also like a pair of um, Bowden style Ponty trousers, like actual zip up, not pull on, but zip up and button trousers. And I think I'm going to use the Itch to Stitch North Point trousers and then put the Itch to Stitch Upland leg on that. Similar to what I did with the Largos and the Legatos, um, I'm going to do that with the North Point that are meant for Ponte and stretch wovens. Um, pair that with just the leg of the Uplands. So um, I love that leg. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to use the Mood Ponte just because Ponte comes in so many different weights and thicknesses. Um, and I know that that mood Ponty is a very um, close to that Bowden because Jenny and I were thrifting the other day and at a consignment store, those Bowden pants were there um, in a different color. So I was able to kind of look at them and uh, feel the fabric. And I think that mood Ponty is going to be a perfect match for that. So I do want to make a pair of those this spring as well. And then finally, I've got three dresses, none of which are solids. I have my new Scroop Patterns uh, Robin dress and this beautiful rayon. Um, just absolutely love this. My new Love Notions Aurora dress. This will, again, when the weather went, warms up enough where I can have bare legs, um, but very excited about wearing this. Such a cute little dress. And then, my brightly colored Wonderlust. I haven't gotten to wear this very much and I bought the fabric for the Wonderlust and made it up and um, it's spring's perfect because this is a longer dress. It's technically midi, but it's almost a maxi on me. Um, so I could very easily throw this on over. Um, I mean, even if I had bare legs underneath it, I think it would be fine because most of your leg is still covered by the dress anyway, or I could throw it over tights and boots and stuff like that and be good. Um, but I just, the colors just make me so happy. So the Wonderlust is coming in. And then my Style Arc Lauren jacket in the wool knit, obviously, that'll be coming in for spring. Absolutely loving this color right now. And then my love note, or uh, sorry, Sinclair Patterns uh, Harper Cardigan in the red. I've been wearing this a ton this winter as well. So I'm looking forward to bringing this into the spring. And then the final thing that I'm going to make is the Love Notions cleft jacket. I want to make it in that same olive twill that I buy for the Largos. I don't know that I'll wear them together, but in my head, I just, I want an olive green twill jacket. 
And I've really been wanting to make up that cleft since it came out. So there we have it. And the final things that I'm adding into my spring capsule are obviously the shoes and the accessories. And um, yeah, I bought, a, I bought a new pair of shoes. So four shoes, I have, I think, five pairs that I'm going to be putting into my capsule. Um, keeping my fun little Madewell sneakers into, my, into the capsule, I think these are just really fun. Got those for Christmas. I have recently gotten, look at these gold loafers. These are from Bowdoin. And I wanted a pair of metallic loafers. That is one of the, metallic is a trending thing for spring. Um, and I love the metallic loafers I've seen everywhere. But I've only ever seen them in silver. So finding them in gold, I don't wear silver. So finding them in gold was, I grabbed them up like right away. And they're very comfortable. So look for these a ton this spring. <laughs> but I'm very excited about my new loafers. And then I'm bringing in my Everlane Mules in the orange. Um, those are great for spring when I'm not ready to have my toes out yet. My Vivea um, Ballet Flats. Absolutely love these. These are broken in and very, very comfortable. The neutral ones will probably, I'll be, I'll be wearing those this spring too, but definitely these, this color. And then my Nike Air Force Ones in the bright um, colors because these make me happy. <laughs> So those are the five shoes that I'll be primarily wearing this spring. And then I've got three bags. Um, I've got my um, Chanel inspired bag that I got in Rome that I'll be carrying. I have this little leather bag. My mom actually got this for me in maybe Italy, Sicily maybe, uh, when they were on a trip. But it's a beautiful little um, leather bag. I just love, it's a nice, it's got the, the chain. Um, strap on it. It can go crossbody. It can be worn over your shoulder and um, it fastens really nicely, but it goes nice with the um, turquoise that I'm bringing in. Just a nice little bag. And then finally, my red coach bag that I got um, at Christmas this year. I uh, love that a lot, and that's a lot of a fun color to bring in as well. So there we have it, guys. Um, we bring in some fun jewelry and stuff like that. But those are my plans for my spring capsule wardrobe. And I uh, won't be wearing it for a while. So maybe I'll actually get these things made up before it's time to wear it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, well, I guess not that long. Here, here at the beginning of March, uh, getting into March a little bit, I'll start pulling out the spring capsule wardrobe. All right. What are you guys sewing for your spring capsule wardrobes? Are you um, following any of the trends? Are you just doing your own thing? Um, what's your prerogative when it comes to your transitional season, whether that be spring or fall? All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Get some sewing in, and I'll be back on Friday. Bye.